hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for i am using this oneplus nord 2 which has mediatek cpu unbreaking such mediatek processor devices is a real hassle if it goes in a boot loop or brick condition but there is one tool called as mtk client which can be savior for such devices which are running with the mediatek processors actually i already created videos for the oneplus nord 2 for how to revert back or downgrade directly to the specific firmware solving the boot loop issues using this tool in the two different videos but in that both videos are used as the usb real live dvd os for the mtk client which needs different setup process which is tedious and time consuming and it also needs the usb pen drive but today we brought you the mtk client gui windows based application which didn't needs any separate settings it just a install and plug your device and play method so today in this video we are going to discuss how to set up the new mtk client gui windows based application how to take full backup of your device using this application how you can restore any mtk client backup or the mtk firmware to recover your mediatek device if it goes in a boot loop or even in a breaker state without unlocking the bootloader we will also discuss how to lock and unlock the bootloader of your device featuring the oneplus nord 2 this is just a demonstration video how to do all these steps my device is running it's not in a breaker condition this tutorial will work for any mediatek device you just need the mtk client flashable firmware files now without further delay let's get started Here you can check my OnePlus Nord 2 is running with MediaTek MTK6988 processor. This app should work for any MediaTek processor device. You just need the proper MTK client firmware to use it and you also need the one Windows PC. So let's start with how to set up the new MTK client Windows GUI application. I have given the link of new MTK GUI zip under video description. You have to download it in your PC. Unzip it, you will get the new MTK client GUI folder. After unzipping the file, inside this folder there are several files available, but you have to just need to run the MTK client GUI 2.0 exe file. When you run this, it will open this command window, and along with this, another separate app user interface will be opened like this one, where it's showing the instruction how to connect the device. Next, if you want to recover your device from the breaker or boot loop stage, or you want to downgrade it to the lowest version, you need the specific MTK client firmware or you can also use the MTK client backup of your stock ROM if you have already created its backup using the MTK client. Here I have this OnePlus Nord 2 MTK client backup of Evolution X custom ROM which are taken to show you the process of how to take backup and the restoration for this video tutorial. Next, to use the MTK Client GUI application, you just need the MTK USB drivers installed on your PC. For that, extract the MTK VCOM drivers given under the video description. You will get this folder. In this, run the MTK USB exe file. This installer will be run in the Chinese language. Ignore the language, just tap on the install button as shown in the video. Once done, you will get the new MTK USB driver folder on the desktop. In this folder, open the MediaTek drivers and run that exe file and wait for the installation. While installation, don't connect your device to the PC. Once installation of driver gets done, reboot the PC. Now take your phone in hand, power it off. Then keep one end of USB cable connected to the PC. Now press the volume up plus down buttons of your phone. Keep it pressed and connect the other end of USB to the phone. Until you will see the search circular progress bar starts in the top left corner of MTK client GUI application. Once it starts, immediately leave all the buttons and keep the phone aside connected to the PC. Once phones get detected, you will see such information on the top left corner that is phone is detected in the boot ROM mode with the MediaTek processor version MT6893 for the OnePlus Nord 2. First we will see how to take the backup of your device in MTK client for future purposes to revive your device if it goes in further complications. To do this there is a read partition option available in the MTK GUI app. If you click this you get the complete list of all the partitions of your device. You can check mark all the partition by single click using the select all partition option. 
or you can do it manually. Remember, scroll down to the bottom and uncheck the user data partition. Because this is a big partition size, if you choose it, this file will be above the 25 to 30 GB. But still, if you want the backup of this, you can take it. Now click on the read partition tab available at the bottom in a red color. Now system will ask you to choose the location where you want to save the backup. Now select your desired location and click OK. Immediately at the bottom we will see the backing of the selected file starts with the progress bar. Similar in the command window you will see some backup commands are running automatically. Once process finishes you get the 100% and done pop up at the bottom in the M2K GUI application. I had taken the backup of my Android 14 custom ROM firmware. Here you can check all the files are in a .bin format. Next step you have to do is to take the backup of preloader partition. It's also a very important step. Go to the flash tool, tap on the read preloader, choose your desired location separately to save this preloader boot.bin file. Click save and immediately you will see the backing up of preloader completes with 100% and done pop up progress bar at the bottom. You can later access the boot.bin file at the desired location. So the next time if you want to try something adventurous on your MediaTek device first do the backup of your device of all partition using the MTK client. Next step is for the people who break their devices or the device goes in a boot loop. Remember under the video description I had given only the OnePlus Nord 2 MTK client GUI backup. For other device users I will add all the firmware slowly in upcoming days. If you already had these files. Then just tap on the write partition option in the GUI application. You will get the list of all the partition available to choose. You can actually restore only boot or the recovery partition if your device just went in the recovery image corrupt issue or it just goes in a boot loop of OEM logo. But if device is not booting at all then connect phone to the PC in boot ROM mode as I shown previously. Now choose the select from the directory, choose the folder where you placed the backup of your device partition or any downloaded partition backup files. Here I will choose the same backup file of my version X that I took previously for just showing you the tutorial. MTK client will automatically set all the partition files to the desired slot. You don't need to do anything. Now click another option that is right partition. MTK GUI app will start to restore all the partition. This will take 15 to 30 minutes as per the size of your MTK client backup file. Once done, we get the 100% done notification at the bottom. Now don't disconnect the device, keep it connected. Remember if you are flashing the Android 11 firmware from the Android 12 or Android 13 and vice versa, then you need to restore the preloader of the same Android version. But if you are flashing the same Android version in which your device went into the boot loop then you don't need to follow this step. To flash the preloader you need to tap on the flash tools. This time choose the write preloader instead of read preloader. Now choose your desired preloader file to be flashed. Immediately after selecting this MTK will write down the preloader partition and you will only get the done notification at the bottom of MTK client. No 100% notification will be pop up here. Sometimes MTK may hangs too. But our job is done to recover your device. Now disconnect the device, press the volume up plus power button until your device reboots. Your device should boot to the desired firmware you restored. Remember this tool can also be used to lock the bootloader and unlock the bootloader of your device. But after locking the boot you need to flash the same boot image of your device firmware that you locked using the right partition tool of the MTK client. MTK client only needs the device developer option and the USB debugging enabled in the setting to flash any firmware of your device or any other partition file like boot, recovery, etc. It will work on the locked bootloader devices also. This is a magical tool that works even on the locked bootloader. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing Ambri guides for all the devices. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.